So if you just recently got your hands on a new Apple Watch or you need a refresher on some amazing underestimated apps to definitely check out and download, continue watching these videos. I'm gonna go through my five must have apps. Now these are the apps that I personally use day to day, just automatically. And don't get me wrong, even though Apple integrated apps are absolutely amazing. Like you got the decibel level reader that gives you notifications in case decibel levels are too loud. Uh, another underestimated app is the compass as that could be used as a leveler. If you're trying to line up painting and such, you also of course have the Apple Maps, which is awesome. I use it while I'm cycling. The turn by turn directions really does help guide you. The mail app is also really handy, especially when you don't have your phone around and you have to check the latest notification. Email that you recently received. So excluding those integrated apps, these are the third party applications. Again, that you should definitely download. Let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and quickly start off with the list with Shazam. Now, what I really do like about Shazam is, in case you don't know, it's an app that basically will detect the audio of the song you're listening to. I find this app extremely useful, especially since you can use it as a complication. So whenever I'm in a vehicle, a store, a club, if there's a certain song that's super catchy and I don't wanna yell at my watch to ask Siri to verbally request Siri to identify the song, I could just quickly just tap here. It's gonna begin listening and if you don't have a solid internet connection, next time when you launch the app, it'll identify it and it keeps a library of all the previously identified songs. And if you click on it, if you're subscribed to Apple Music, since Shazam has a partnership with Apple, Apple bought them a while ago, you could literally launch the main application, click on your last Shazam, and literally will take you to your Apple Music where you can actually listen to that song. That is an interesting art cover. I wasn't expecting that, Usher. <laughs> so you really get a lot of benefits if you are a Apple Music subscriber. Let's go ahead and move on. Now this next app is called Cloud Battery, and this is way better than what Apple has in their complication to monitor the battery life level of your Apple Watch because with this app, not only can you use it as a complication, but will also monitor all your other Apple devices that have the app installed. So as a fine example, I have it right here, and I primarily set it so I can monitor my iPhone battery life percentage right here on my wrist because I could just bring up Control Center and see the exact percentage of my Apple Watch. So there's no need to see the battery life percentage of my Apple Watch. I find it on my Apple Watch since I could just pop up Control Center. But I do like the ability to monitor the battery life percentage of my iPhone. And as you see here, I can also monitor the battery life percentage of my iPad. And I could easily add other devices too, just so long as I install the free to download app onto that main device. And you can rearrange it too if you want this to be a different primary by tapping here going down to sort, you could arrange it so the lowest battery will be the favorite or the highest battery will be the default one that's shown or the name and you can also customize it as well and then just tap save. But if you click on it, here's where you can actually add it to the first device. This is another way you can make the complication show the primary device. So yeah, check out this app. It's free to download, extremely useful. I just like it so I could monitor the battery life percentage of my iPhone so I know when to charge it before I leave or head out somewhere. Now I'm a person that works out a lot. And Heart Analyzer is an app that I primarily use all the time. It's free to download and basically will constantly monitor your, your heart rate level. But what I like about this app is that it actually monitors everything more accurate and more frequent compared to the native one by Apple. Nothing wrong with the native one, but I like this one the most because I have it right here as a complication. And honestly, I think my heart rate's pretty high right now, but it's probably due to the fact that I'm holding my wrist like this for a good 30 minutes. So this is a, technically a workout, and I can feel it. But when you click on it, you can monitor all your previous heart rate. So your average will tell you your average right here, the minimum of the day. Get out of the way, brand brand. The max for the day as well as the time. It basically will monitor everything as well as your calories burn, the cardio. Now you can check your past activities as well. You get access to all this data for free, which is kind of nice. And my heart rate really just increased right now, right? Because I'm really excited to show you about this app and my wrist is dying. But yeah, definitely check out this app, especially if you work out a lot. This way you can monitor your heart rate. So you know, if you start seeing that number going down, you should end your break and start working out on the next exercise. Now, another great app that revolves around fitness is called Steps Activity Tracker. Now, it's really basic. Let me go ahead and show you. So again, it's a complication. I have it set as a complication. I can set my steps goal, which is 10K, and basically will continue tracking all my steps 
throughout the entire day. And it will also show you the details, like the distance you walk, the total calories you burn during the day, walk session. Right now it's still early. You can set a new goal if you go down. It gives you a lot of amazing tools. There's even a graphic to show you right here as well. And we'll tell you the percentage of your goal. And you can always go in here and adjust the goal as well. Right now I just have it set to 10K because that is the protocol for me in terms of burning the most calories and boosting my metabolism efficiently, which also involves drinking a one whole gallon and a half of these. So step tracker, amazing, especially if you're trying to get all your steps in, shows you all that information right here on your watch face. And of course, always on display, will still display it for you as well. Now, Buddy Watch is the name of this app. What I really like about this app is that it really does utilize and takes advantage of the latest massive firmware update of the ability to share your watch faces with other users. This application basically just has an endless libraries of community made watch faces that people put and share on this app. And it's really cool because you don't need to use your phone to navigate and view all these different style apps to install on your Apple Watch. So we have some right here, like this rainbow one, which is really nifty. I have this uh, Fallout Pip-Boy one that I like to switch into time to time. I got it from them. Here it is. And of course you can actually edit, change the color as well. You could set it to the, the default green from Fallout. But if we go back to it, they have a really cool library of community made watch faces. And some I would have never known was possible to be made on the Apple Watch. Like this one as a fine example. Let's go ahead and wait for it to load. Go down, add. And just like that, we have that watch face installed on our Apple Watch. So if you want to see what creative ideas there are or is available, who this one's cool too, if you like Marshmallow, definitely do check out Buddy Watch. I'm probably going to browse here for a while and because some of these are actually pretty cool. Ooh, this one's cool. But yeah, even the image they could share on this app as well. And there you go. Those are the five most underestimated but extremely useful applications that you can download, third-party apps that you can download on your Apple Watch. Links to all these applications, of course, I'll have them all in the video description down below, so they are literally a click away. And the cool thing is, these are all free. Now, in case you're wondering what's up with the background, don't worry, I'm still getting settled in this new studio. A lot of things are gonna start changing. You're gonna see a lot more unique content coming out on this channel revolving around technology. So if you're new to the channel, highly recommend subscribing. And if you got some good usage and information out of this video, really appreciate if you could actually leave this video a like as well, as those help me out a lot. And for more, if you wanna see what kind of games you could download on the Apple Watch that are actually entertaining, check out this playlist over here as I go through a bunch of fun apps you could download on your Apple Watch. And then this video over there has a video of a bunch of awesome accessories that I'm using on my Apple Watch day to day. So feel free to watch it or again, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.